No police officer can pronounce a person dead. It's only a doctor can say that a person is dead, even if the person had taken off and put on beside them. Only the doctor can say the person is dead. Blessed me people, welcome back, you see me? So people, today we're gonna talk about a serious situation that is all over the media. First and foremost people, I have to say that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. It doesn't matter the accusation, you no know, matter how it look, every person is innocent until they have been proven guilty in the court of law. From the other day, I have been following this story about the Silveras, that's Joel and Silvera and his wife. I have read the stories in the Gleaner Observer, you know what I mean, and other papers and seen it on the media. And I just find it kind of strange how a healthy person can just go to them bed, go lie down, sleep, and not wake back. Whilst it is not impossible, it just sound a way to me because anybody can go to them bed and not wake up back. But the one, uh, they just sound a little bit strange. The allegations are that Mrs. Silvera went to her bed to sleep and did not wake up. She passed away in her sleep. For a second, I was even wondering if it is because her bed was too comfortable why she slept and never wake up again. Because you know, when people have their money, they normally buy the best bed to sleep on. So them rest good. So I wonder if it was too comfortable, you know what I mean? And she over rest because that just never really sit down well, you know what I mean? Allegations are that on November 10, 2023, Miss Melissa Silvera went to her bed and did not wake up hinting that she had died in her sleep. The police was alerted, you know what I mean? And the police visited the scene, which is the procedure whenever a person dies suddenly, whether at home or even at hospital or on the road, you know, police still has to visit that location. Melissa Silvera is the wife of Joelan Silvera, who is a former member of parliament for the People's National Party. She is also the goddaughter of former Prime Minister of Jamaica, P.J. Pattison. So people, the police have a certain responsibility whenever they are called to the scene of a suspected sudden death. The more important ones are, firstly, you check for signs of life. You check to see if the person is actually dead because a family member relative might look at the person and say the person not moving thinking that the person is dead the police is trained to check for signs of life you know what i mean so the police can do a quick check to see if the signs of death are present because if the person is alive when the police gets there what the police have to do is transport that person to the hospital for them to get medical attention however if all the signs of death are present when the police do is check then the police will have to start observing the body for signs of violence if the body has a wound on it if there are any scratches the position that the body is is lying in whether or not it suggests that there was a struggle before the person died all of these things have to be taken into consideration the attire that the person was in how the person they dress before them go lie down on them bed whether the person is dressed up in a nighty or the person lie down in a jeans pants you know what i mean things like that also observe the surrounding to see if there is any trace of any blood you know what i mean anything that could raise a suspicion that this person did not die of natural causes the police also check the surrounding to see if there is any written note there like for example a suicide note check for pill bottles check for like poison containers Things that could suggest that the person might have committed suicide. Yeah, so check around for other things that a person could consume which can be deadly. Observe the house, the apartment or the room to see if there was any sign of forced entry. If the place was broken into. You communicate with family members as it relates to getting certain information about the person's name correct date of birth and so on as also their medical history also inquire 
of the kind of person that the individual was if it's a person that was depressed if it's a person where did i go through problems if a person where did have issues and i mean just to have a better idea of what could have caused this person to die in her sleep if the person is a sick person then you need to know the last time the person visited a doctor or the person was visited by a doctor and so on so based on the police's observation and the information gathered the police can make a preliminary determination as it relates to how this case will be treated if it will be if it will be treated as a suicide a murder case or it will be treated as a person who died suddenly of natural causes in most cases where the police does not suspect suicide or murder as a reason for that person losing his or her life then the case will be treated as a sudden death however in a case where the person was not sick and the person is at all is a young person it is normally requested that an autopsy be done on that person's body in jamaica you know autopsies take a while because you know jamaica don't have a lot of pathologists so some of the times the autopsy will take weeks to be carried out in a case where the police has a reason to suspect murder or suicide then the police will contact the scene of crime unit who will come in and process the scene as also the police will cause the detectives who will take care of the major part of the investigation in a case where a person just goes to sleep and don't wake up you don't see any sign of any foul play you know it looks like the person died of natural cause in a them sleep based on what you have seen after you have finished your observation you will cause the body to be removed by the government approved funeral home who will take the body to the hospital where a doctor will pronounce that person dead however in some cases people have them family doctor who, who upon hearing of the death most times will come to the location and that doctor can also pronounce that person dead because regardless of the state that a person is in and how much signs of death are present no police officer can pronounce a person dead it's only a doctor can say that a person is dead even if the person had take off and put on beside them only the doctor can say the person is dead and in cases like this where the person was not suffering from certain medical conditions and was visiting the doctor or the doctor was visiting that person or the person was admitted in hospital and so on and so forth most of the times the doctor at the hospital who pronounced that person dead is the doctor who would have to sign the death certificate stating his or her opinion on the cause of death hence a lot of doctors will recommend that an autopsy be done to satisfy themselves of the actual cause of death just like with the police as i said earlier people in a case like this the police would normally recommend that an autopsy be done so people after it was said that mrs silvera had died in her sleep from natural causes an autopsy was afterwards done on her body which revealed that three bullet fragments were inside her body think about it you know people this indicates that mrs silvera was actually shot and killed because that is the only way bullet fragments would end up in your body when you were shot but obviously there were no physical signs when the police got there to to suggest that this person was shot because if you don't see an entry or an exit wound or both on a person's body then it will be almost impossible for you to just form the opinion that the person was shot and that is the strange part you get me and that is the part that a lot of persons cannot really fathom a lot of person can't really come to terms with how a person gets shot and you go on the scene and you don't see no blood and you don't see no wound on the person this can happen people you get me and them say anything that can happen will happen so people the real strange and funny part of this is right if a person was shot with a one two or three times and there was no loud explosions reported no entry or exit wound of a bullet on the body no blood 
then automatically you know that this has to be something that was premeditated and planned for you understand me as a people think about it for this particular case i do not know the method that was used in the commission of this crime you understand people but i'm gonna give you all an example of how a person can be shot and you don't see an entry or an exit wound no blood you understand and the person a bullet in them body so listen firstly people the firearm would have to be a low velocity weapon meaning a low power weapon for the bullet to not exit the body and have a silencer affixed to it or a sound suppressor because once the sound suppressor is on it people will not hear the loud explosions and people listen to this the person would have to be shot through a natural opening on the body for example vagina or anus because whenever a person is shot like that with a very low velocity weapon it is less likely that the bullet will exit the body and there will not be an entry wound so you won't see an entry wound unless you draw up the person close and, as, and actually assert that and that when you actually suspect say yes something go on yes sir then you don't go that far so when a person uses that method there will less likely be obvious signs of violence and in this case the killer would have to be an expert who had carefully planned and organized this particular type of crime people i am not speaking as an expert i am just merely using common sense as i said before i do not know the method that the person used to shoot this lady and cover it up you understand people yeah but i just give an example of one way that a person can be shot and you don't see any sign on the person body and in a case like this people where there are no forced entry to the premises and so on and you know chances are these people might even have camera at them house because you know most people have camera at them house now so in a case like this where none of that was present where you can see somebody breaking or have your sign of anything of that sort happening the first place the investigation will point is to the victims in a circle persons who are close to the victim especially persons who are living in the same household as the victim and you know people the first suspect that would come to mind would normally be her husband mr joyland silvera especially the fact that after she had died the room that she died in was completely renovated allegedly however because i do not have facts on that which seems extremely suspicious and you know the investigations were carried out and mr silvera was eventually arrested and charged recently for the murder of his wife melissa silvera and now it's a matter for the court to decide as for the law people a man is innocent until he is tried and found guilty in a court of law you know what i mean so regardless of the suspicions you know what i mean it does not necessarily mean say i must him do it but regardless of the suspicions we still have to wait on the outcome from the court system but people i'm gonna leave you with a few words of solid advice babes you see whenever you and a person are having issues whether it be husband, wife, brother, sister, friend, whoever. Do not just keep it to yourself. Make people know say you and so and so have issues and only no good. Don't play like everything is alright in the public. Because some of these same persons you don't know the intentions that they have. And if you play kids like that, then we get rid of you meaning then we set you up and get you killed and then come at your funeral come ball and or even help to carry your casket people who have to wise up them thing ya, a happen over the years and not just now ages now things like them are transpire you get the message people so once you want a person 
you can't see eye to eye when you're not good if you're not living at the same house it's best if one person move out and find somewhere else go somebody have to be the bigger person and step away because it not take nothing at all if your situation turn deadly out of the blues you get to me I say people yeah man so i just might look a bit that you can like subscribe and share peace